Do your big toes hurt? Do you think you have an ingrown toenail? Or do you like ASMR videos and agree with fashion magazine editor D. Lorraine Miranda, who wrote about my channel and wonders if ingrown toenail cleaning videos are becoming the new pimple popping video craze? If you do have a problem with your big toes, I'm going to show you how soaking your feet and cleaning out all that buildup has helped hundreds of people solve their big toe pain. So stay tuned. There are several items that play a part in the success of moving buildup under the toenail. One is the foot soak that goes in the warm foot bath to soften the skin and serves as an antimicrobial agent. Two is the cuticle remover that dissolves the compacted buildup. And three is having the right tools to get the job done without hurting yourself. As soon as I trim the nail, I can see dark areas on each side of the nail, and this is an indication there is foreign material that should not be there and needs to come out. Today you're going to see two of my new tools. This one is the toenail lifter used to clean under the free edge of the nail, and you're going to see the ingrown toenail rasp. The ingrown toenail rasp is a little bit more serious than the ingrown sidewall cleaner. The ingrown sidewall cleaner has the little scoop to pull out loose skin, but the rasp has a serrated flat surface on one end to file hard to reach and rough areas on the nail and a serrated curved end on the other end to help pull out stubborn material. And you're gonna see me using that as soon as I'm finished using the ingrown sidewall cleaner. If you have a little pokey part of your nail pressing into the skin, this is the tool you need. It files off pieces of the nail as well as pulls out hard to reach buildup. It acts like a little teeny tiny fingernail file that can get way down in those crevices. You want to be gentle when trying to remove anything from under the toenail or in the sidewalls, and if it's not coming out easily by coaxing it, then the foot needs to go back into the water. Just go slow, be patient, wiggle, push, pull, wiggle, and it will eventually come out. to get the rest of that out after you soak your foot again. You can put your foot back in the water. You can see a second toe on this foot is starting to change shape a little bit. You can see that his big toe presses into that second toe and he's been playing basketball twice a week and it's been you know, the stopping and starting and the pushing off of his feet, it's putting pressure on the shape of that toenail. So 
I am going to upload another video where I actually am going to try and change the shape of this toenail and we're going to apply a little patch of acrylic to it. You want to know something hilarious? Bruce is annoyed often with our six-year-old dog's hair being all over his chair, all over the side of his bed, etc, etc. But as soon as I trim this toenail, one of her hairs pops out from underneath his toenail. And I'm not going to tell him about it. And you better not either because he'll never see this video. He'll never know. I'm going to put a little arrow as soon as you can see it on the screen. <laughs> Don't forget to leave me a comment for your chance to win one of the tools I'm using in this video. You must be subscribed to get the notification that you are the winner. One of the comments will also be chosen for the Comment Hall of Fame on my Instagram. And I will put the link to the article about my channel that's in Fashion Magazine November 2018 in the description if you want to see it. And I hope you'll take an extra second to do all the clicking. Click like, share, subscribe. You know what I mean. There's a lot of buildup under this corner of the toenail, and this is why people think they have an ingrown toenail, because it gets so compacted. You can't pull it out all at once. You have to pull out what has gotten soggy and turned white from soaking in the foot bath, and then when you feel like you're just stuck, it's just got to go back in the water. You want to be gentle when trying to remove anything from under the toenail or in the sidewalls, and if it isn't coming out easily by coaxing it, then the foot needs to go back into the water. It's not ready to come out either. I almost cried when I imported this video to edit because I didn't realize while I was filming it that his foot got so close to the edge that it was almost out of frame and I would have been so upset. I'm just, I get so focused. I don't look at the camera over and over and over again, but you can see it. So I was relieved and I had to put his foot back into the water a third time to make more of that excess skin soggy. So when it comes out of the water again, it does have a much better foot position so you can see the removal. I just wanna take a minute to thank all of you for supporting me. I am so blessed to have the following here on my channel and the fact that you love the content I create. I really do try my best with what I have to work with and to grow as a creator and when I say my prayers, I always ask for guidance and pray that somehow I can help bring awareness for the importance of self-care. Taking care of yourself isn't vain. When I opened my salon 16 years ago, my motto was and is, Voila Salon and Spa is dedicated to providing essential maintenance to create beauty, reduce stress, achieve balance, and maintain well-being. I believe you must have essential maintenance for yourself in order to achieve creating beauty, to achieve reducing stress, having balance in your life, and maintaining your well-being. So I hope you will all try to be good to yourself and your loved ones and help spread the message to help everyone in the world.
This is a little off topic, but beneficial. I get emails every day about what I use to care for my skin to keep the wrinkles at bay. So I want to tell you, I use a line called Aesthetic Skin Institute. This line has the highest level of active ingredients allowed by law before you need a prescription from a dermatologist. I made a special for anyone who wants to try the line. And if you're going to start with just one product, I recommend the Antioxidant Infusion Cream. The Antioxidant Infusion Cream helps collagen in aging skin grow faster. It reduces lines and wrinkles and firms the skin. It's a must have and you will love the results. I use it every single day. And you can still use the shipping code HOHSHIP. Earlier I talked about the ingrown toenail rasp serves as a miniature file and here I'm using the lifter just to lift up the edge of the nail and using the rasp to file off the edge that might poke into his skin. Now I'm just pressing down the skin to hold it back and using the end of the toenail rasp to file that pokey little area of his toenail. I get a lot of questions about using the nippers and people being nervous to cut someone's cuticle. I want you to pay attention to how I am using the nippers. I sit it against the skin and then open them to push the skin backwards. You aren't going to cut the skin on top of the nail. Any of the skin that's stuck on the nail plate is what needs to be removed not the skin around the toenail. Can you see how more of that dead skin has turned white from soaking in the foot bath again? I think the reason why so many people hurt themselves is because they're being impatient, they're not waiting for the skin to get soggy. You need to wait for the skin to get soggy so it comes away from the live skin easier. Don't be too rough on yourself because that's when you're going to cause damage to the skin and then you could give yourself an infection and it's going to make everything worse. So you need to be gentle, go slow, take off little bits at a time. This is some cuticle oil to moisturize and nourish the skin after using the cuticle remover around the toenails. And I just want to touch on the topic of the ads that run on the videos. I know sometimes they interrupt and I apologize, but they are how I can earn money to afford to be able to do this. So please be patient. They just last a few seconds. I am really grateful and without you, I wouldn't be successful. So thank you so much. And the before and after pictures are coming up in under one minute.
Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time. Here are some other great video suggestions for you. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.